friends, it's me and Korn saying hi from a Saturday morning. This is also the start of a weekend reading vlog. I actually have quite some things planned this weekend, but I also want to take you guys along with me because I think I'm gonna be reading two awesome books. The first one is actually um, an audiobook, is Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kinsauer. And this is a book that is shortlisted for the Women's Prize for Fiction. I'm working my way through all the books on the shortlist that I can find. One book that I couldn't find anywhere, even online in the States, is Black Butterflies. I don't think that book is published in the States just yet, so I couldn't get access on it. I even like tried the UK uh, Amazon Kindle shop and it, they wouldn't let me purchase. So I cannot find that book, but the other ones I'm working my way through. And I, yeah, before everything. I just want to say that I decided yesterday to DNF this book. What is, I, this book has a more than four point, like four star ratings on Goodreads and it's shortlisted and it's like a priest everywhere. Like what is this? If you have read this, I, let me know if you loved it or not. I couldn't understand. And I see some people that re I really trust their rating test. They give it a pretty high score, but I also received, because I complained it on Instagram, and a lot of people actually told me that they also hated it, so that makes me feel better, but like, please let me know any of your thoughts. What is this book? I have so much rent. Anyhow, so moving on to the books that I'm reading in this vlog. So first of all, Demon Copperhead. This is a book that is inspired by uh, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, which is a book that I read when I was little. So I vaguely remember what happened, like what's the ending of the story, but I don't actually remember any details because it's so many years ago. So I'm really curious about this book because it moved the whole setting from the 18th century in the London, London, or in England at least, to the modern society in America. So I'm really um, looking forward to see how that gonna play out. Um, and this book has a really high rating too. So I'm like a little bit, you know, nervous about the ratings now because I figure a lot of times I don't agree with them. However, I really have hope for this book. I feel like the subject matter is a little bit easier for me to connect to and I've heard so many things about the author's writing. So looking forward to reading that. I'll be reading it on audio as the only format that I can get access to and uh, uh, it's also very good because I have so many chores to do in the during the weekend so I have like more time to listen to the book rather than reading a physical one but I do have a physical book that I'm gonna read because I want to read something fun and lighthearted and something like entertaining so I'm going back to my favorite Miss Marple um, and I'm gonna be read A Murder is Announced. This is the fourth book in the Miss Marple series by Agatha Christie and I just know it's gonna be funny, it's gonna be murder mystery, but it's like cozy vibes and everything, small village. And the synopsis of this book is really intriguing too because someone in their community announced that at 6.30, October 29th, there will be a murder and no one knows what will happen. Like no one even knows is the joke or not. But like, I feel like we, at this point, we can all agree that the murder did happen. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to find out what happened, why, who announced that. Just have a cozy, enjoyable time with my Miss Marple along head with uh, somehow a more difficult read um, on audio format for the Demon Copperhead.
Hi, it's about 12 o'clock. I have the Spanish class uh, coming up. I mentioned that in my channel a couple of times before that I'm doing a uh, language sprint kind of thing. I'm doing 60 classes in 60 days, so I have to take one class every single day. But in the end, if I achieve that, I will be able to get a refund. So essentially, I'll take all these classes for free. And I have 12 days to go, so so far so good. Cross finger, nothing will happen, and uh, I will be able to get my refund. Found. Anyhow, so I will have the class from 12 to 1 o'clock. But before that, I want to update you guys on the book Demon Copperhead. Actually, it's not called Demon Copperhead. Uh, I think the character actually complained in the book because he was like, why did they name me uh, like Demon? Because people will call me Demon. And uh, that's exactly what I thought when I saw this title. So it's like Demon Copperhead. Um, I'm not actually not sure if I'm saying that correctly. But yeah, the book is so far so good. Nothing um, serious like has happened yet. This is a coming of age story. So we follow the character from when he was small to he grew up and uh, entered the world, I suppose. So it's just like a regular um, coming of age story so far. It's not so captivating, but it was able to uh, keep me interested in the story. And I uh, started to develop some caring for the main character, especially uh, if you know the story, David uh, Coberfield, you'll know that the character is growing up in a very um, not so good condition, suffered from poverty, and uh, no one essentially cared about him or like was able to um, protect him when he is small. And certainly in this book, the main character is um, experiencing similar things. But I will say that it's so interesting because how uh, poverty plays in sirens going on. So I was saying it is very interesting to see how poverty plays differently in different parts of the world, in the different period of the world, because at some point the character and his friends was able to play Game Boy uh, together. To me, it sounds like a luxurious item to have when you're, you don't, sometimes you don't even uh, have um, enough food to eat, right? So at that time, I feel like, oh, things are really different in different places. And, uh, um, but the main thing that's happening right now is domestic violence. And I'm just really hoping that uh, it's not that cruel for this character, but we don't know that yet. And like I said, I am going to have the Spanish class. And in the afternoon, we plan to uh, go grocery and also climbing and uh, have a visit, take a visit to the library. So that's the plan for today. And uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. See you guys later. A little bit of a library book haul. I've checked out three books as you can see here. And the first book is The Opposite of Butterfly Hunting. This is a book that recommended to me in the comment section of my 10 books for mental health awareness month video. And this is a memoir about anorexia. It was recommended to me by Lily, who has a wonderful bilingual uh, book review blog in English and also in French. And this is the memoir that uh, she likes a lot and she highly, highly recommended. And I happen to see my library has it, so I just grabbed it and wanted to learn more about anorexia. It's it's not something that I often read about, but I I am curious about it because you know all the um, pressures and things like body images in the society. It just you know. And the second book is The Guest List. This is a thriller that was really popular like two years ago. I, I wanted to read something light, fast, entertaining the other day, and I feel like thriller is the way to go. I haven't read a thriller in forever. Because I binge read thrillers when The Girl on the Train was really popular, like when it first came out or like turned into a movie. And that was the time I binge read a bunch of thrillers with unreliable narrators. And then I was like, I'm done. But yeah, it's been a couple of years. I'm not sure how this book goes, but it's really popular. 
And the third book I grabbed from one of Kazan's video. She was reading this for the Book 2 Prize nonfiction section, and this is My Fourth Time We Drowned. It is a nonfiction and a document about the refugee crisis in Europe and the refugees from North Africa and how they were treated. Um, the like the some of the unfairness in the system and how people are really helping each other and how some organizations are not really doing anything. So I'm really curious in the topic. So I just borrow this from my library as well. Hi friends, good morning. This is Sunday and it's actually already nearly 12 o'clock. Yesterday I didn't really have time or energy to update you after I came back home. We went climbing and I actually went up to some difficult route that I've been trying a couple of times before and never succeeded. So uh, I was really happy yesterday. Well, I feel like the routes we climbed are really interesting. It was indoor climbing by the way. I have some very interesting new problems for us and we spent like two uh, more than two hours there and it was just so worth it i was so happy anyhow but after that we ran some errands and there was really no energy to update whatsoever and today the spanish class is done today i had the class earlier today and uh, everything was fine i didn't even get to start a murder as announced just yet but i do want to read it a little bit this afternoon uh, because i feel like this is a fairly short story and i I can probably just finish it if I really really try but I did progress on Demon Copperhead I'm at about six hours in uh, the book is really long it's like more than 20 hours as an audiobook so I don't think I can finish it in this vlog but so far I feel like the book is really good um, like I said before it's a coming of age story so I really don't it didn't like grab me uh, so intensely like when I was reading um, the marriage portrait because you are kind of just following this uh, young boy who's like only 11 years old by now and his stories and how he was mistreated by his family members and uh, a lot of people in the society um, but I feel like it's really interesting and I feel like the uh, progress and the development of the plot really makes sense to me but other than that I don't have like a lot of strong emotions but I feel like so far the tone is very realistic talking from like a neglected young boy perspective he was not raised up properly but he needs to like take care of himself from really early on so I feel like he's more mature than the boys at his age but it also makes sense based on his experiences there are also some awful awful people in this book and i like i really want some justice down uh to those people but then um i'm not sure how the story is going i do want a change of scenery because the boy is growing older and uh, all he was staying at is his like small town but i feel like based on what the story is going to be uh maybe he'll go to like another place or something and i do want to see some like new people um introduced into the story and maybe the there there will be some like different dynamics as well but so far it's good it's a it's like stable <laughs> it's not that fascinating to me but it's also interesting enough to keep me going yeah, that's basically my thoughts so far and uh, i will um continue reading that for a little bit and in the afternoon i'll read this book and i'll update you guys later oh yeah and today we do have plan to watch a musical in berkeley um this evening so we will probably head out uh, late afternoon so that will be the last interesting thing to do in this weekend and uh yeah, I will head off to reading and talk to you guys later. So apparently I've only just started this book and on page 4 there's already this interesting conversation that made me smell. Um, it's 
happened between the mom of the household and one of her children, and she just had this commentary to one of her kids said, "As though you were a worker, you don't do any work at all." And her children said. It's not in the least true. I'm writing a book. I just feel like that's so funny that Agatha Christie inserted this commentary there because she is、um, a writer and she can see in some people's eyes writing a book is looks like you're like doing nothing every day in the home, and I just feel like that's. Very interesting of her, and I miss the little wits that she inserted in her books. And I just feel like the conversation between the characters in her books are always so cozy and interesting and funny. I'm just really happy that I'm diving back into one of Agatha Christie's works, and it just it may not be the most、um, mechanically designed murders, but it will be the one that makes me the happiest. So I'm only two pages more into this book, and I don't think it's a spoiler since it's only page six. But it's really funny because the murder, the book is called "A Murder Is Announced." So the murder was announced on a newspaper,、uh, like Friday newspaper, and people figured, like people all saw the announcement, and they all decided to go. I was like, "Go where? Like, what murder is announced? Like, how? How? It's like the small town vibe. Is like, oh, there's something. It's gonna happen. We should just all go and see." Hi、hey、friends, it's a little bit after four o'clock, and I want to do a little bit of a book update before I head out for the musical. I, we're actually going to the city to have dinner first, and then going to the musical in Berkeley. So it's gonna be a long ride, and I'm gonna take the audio book Demon Copperhead with me. However, I didn't read it at all when I'm in home today. I was just reading the A Murder Is Announced.、Um, I am at page a hundred right now, and this book is delightful. However, I do want to point out that I feel like because the book is dated, so like sometimes Agatha Christie's language are dated, and like using some words to describe you know、uh, people, and also like judging people by their appearance.、Uh, like although it is some of them is because of the character's personality, but I do feel like her writing style was like. Generally, like that, she does like to、um, make comment about people's appearance, like just based on you know.、Um, so I do feel like sometimes you have to ignore that to really, really enjoy the story. But because I was such a fan, I <laughs> I read so many of her books when I was small.、Um, they were like translated into Chinese, of course, at that time, and I、um, enjoyed her stories. I just feel like they are delightful, funny,、um, and all of the things. So I was able to ignore that. But I feel like if you are brand new to Agatha Christie, maybe you want to consider that because the language sometimes is dated.、Um, the book is dated for sure. So,、um, but at this point in the story, Miss Marple has already appeared, and of course she is just a hilarious、um, older lady who is、uh, knows everything and can tell a lot of things from people's expression. I know. Please don't yell at me. She can tell a lot of things that the people are hidden from their conversations, and I just like that.、Um, and I also, it also reminded me because last year or the year before, I learned this phrase of armchair detective. It's basically talking about. It's a subgenre of mystery novels. Basically, talking about the detectives who doesn't really go to the crime scene to do investigation, and they just hear everything from. Um, other people, and they're able to make judgments. And I feel like maybe Miss Marple is a little bit like that also. Hold on, pal, because she doesn't necessarily appear too early in every book. She like it's always. People, things are happening, and there are people who's already investigating, and she appears really late in the game compared to Porod. So I feel like she is like semi armchair detective, but she also sometimes goes to the crime scene.、But、yeah, it's just an interesting thought of Miss Marple that I finally realize is like clicked right now, and I'm looking forward to read more of this book. But like I said, we're going to head out, and I'm going to listen to the audiobook on the. 
the way. But I'm also going to be taking this book with me because who knows? I might have some free time to wait before the show starts. So、um, see you guys later. Monday morning, and I just want to pop up and close up this video. Naturally, I didn't have energy to update you last night. The play is not a musical; it's a play. I think I misspoke in the earlier clips, but the play was wonderful. And one of the cast is actually the、uh, a guy who played Hamilton in Hamilton when the、uh, Aunt Peggy tour was toured to San Francisco. So I followed his Instagram, and then I know that he's into this play right now, and that's why I went. And it's such a delightful surprise. I haven't. I've watched a bunch of musical over the years after I came to the states, but I really haven't watched so many plays. And the play was. So nice! It just reminded me of my college years when I went to different theaters to see different plays in、uh, in China, and it was just a such a delightful. Experience for me, and just re reminds me of the good old times that when I、uh, bought the students' tickets to see the place for cheap. <laughs> Anyhow, and over last night and this morning, I also finished a murder is announced. And sorry, my battery just died. I think I was talking about a murder is announced, and I just feel like this book is so.、Um, it's like it's so cozy for me. To be honest, I don't even. Um, try my hardest to try to figure out who's the murderer when I'm reading Agatha Christie. I just like enjoy the moment and enjoy all the small town atmosphere that she created and all the funny dialogues of Miss Marple. And yeah, I think this book really relaxed me down. And I, I think this is actually one of the、uh, better. Stories in Miss Marple series, like a lot of times,、um, not a lot of times, like sometimes when I was reading Miss Marple series, I just feel like the story is a little bit weaker, like the connection is a little bit weaker, but not for this book. It's actually a pretty good surprise for me, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I just feel like I am in the mood to read a bunch of Agatha Christie again. I stopped. I was trying to read her books. Um, like two years ago, but I, then I stopped because I was distracted by all the other fantastic books that I was reading. But this time, I just feel like this is such a comfort for me, and、uh, maybe I'll just continue reading her books every. Months or so, and the other book I am in the middle of is the Demon Copperhead, and I am eight hours into this book. It's a super long book by audio format. It's like more than twenty hours or something. So I'm a little bit more than one third of that book. And I yesterday there was a moment where I feel like the writing is really good because there is a very intense scene, and I do worry for the character, and I was like, oh my gosh. He's into this devastating、um, situation, like what he's gonna do and how he's gonna come out of it. And so far, the story was like one misfortune follow another misfortune. I feel so bad for the character.、Um, but yeah, I. But compared to the marriage portrait, I'm like, I tend to do the things where like when I read this book,、uh, when I read one book, I just compare it to the most previous book that I've read. So compared to the marriage portrait, I just feel like I'm not still not able to connect it to the character so much. Maybe because it's a teenage boy, so naturally I、um, like the subject matter in the marriage portrait a lot.、Uh, but this book is not. Bad, but it's not. <laughs> it's not five star. I feel. I feel like so far it feels like a four star for me. But I still have two thirds of the book that I haven't finished, and I'm hoping to finish it fairly soon, so I can update you guys in my women's press for fiction short、uh, list video. 
but yeah, so far so good. The past weekend I had some amazing reading, and I'm looking forward to read more books in this month. Not this month. This week, and this week I'm pretty excited because Page Boy by Elliot Page is coming out on Tuesday. I've already pre-ordered it, and I just looking forward to read it so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know. Did you do any reading over the weekends? What did you do besides reading? In the comment section down below. Thumbs up to this video if you liked it. I wish you happy reading. Stay healthy. Stay safe. I'll see you in my next bookish video. Bye. Bye.